you encounter travel tie-ups, tell the 89 WLS Traffic Tip Line. Just call 312-984-CARS. 312-984-5277. Kids, we're going to get stoners in Chicago now. uh, You know what's going to happen here? We're going to get stoners. Out of a committee at the Chicago City Council has passed an ordinance that would allow for Chicago police officers to ticket, ticket, small amounts of marijuana when they find it on person is, 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 is. And I'll be honest with you, I just don't get it. I said this before, I'm going to say it again. This is like, instead of saying, hey kids, grandma died, it's... Well, kids, the cat got on the roof. Grandma got on the roof after the cat. Grandma fell off the roof. We took her to the hospital. Then she died. It's we're, we're, We might as well just rip the Band-Aid off. That's what no, who, we should who, be doing. How did everybody get up on the roof again? What happened? I'm they got high and then they were on the roof and they, somebody got high and then what happened? That we are, we're, this is a false, this is a false step and I don't get what they're doing here. Is it, a, are they trial ballooning? Is this trial ballooning the decriminalization, uh, the full decriminalization of marijuana or the legalization of marijuana in Chicago? Is that what's happening? And if so, let's figure this out because I, this is, it seems like a complete waste of time and paper. Because, you know, they had to print this crap out on something. <laughs> All right, Alderman uh, Nicholas Fazito is with us from 36th Ward. Alderman, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Now, you were the one dissenting vote on this, right? You didn't go with yeah, this? It was, just the, it was just the committee vote, though. So this wasn't the, uh, the full council vote, which will be on Wednesday. But that'll be a rubber stamp, won't and, it? And, and the small amounts of marijuana is up for interpretation. So um, They didn't come up with 15 grams is me, the number? I, me, I don't think 15 grams is a small amount. So that was my biggest problem with it. So, Well, but, I, you know, and we talked to the FOP about this. And I've talked to police officers about this. They, they, they actually have to go do this. And what I hear from them is the same thing, which is... This doesn't save us any time. We have to, if we write a ticket, we don't get to just hold on to the marijuana ourselves or give it back to the guys I, or I, throw it away. I pretty much heard the same thing last night. I was at a retirement party for uh, a detective friend of mine, and it was mostly all detectives there. And they all said the same thing. We're really not saving any time, but I, uh, I you know, I believe they have that to inventory it. They have to take it back and inventory it. And now you also have this other problem. The first guy gets a ticket and takes it to court, and you know how this goes. I mean, this is, they, they've done this with the, There's always going to be some enterprising lawyer who wants to make uh, a career mm-hmm. out of just this one thing. He's the one guy. He's the pot ticket lawyer, right? If he gets enough of them, <laughs> you know, he'll be able to get himself a BMW. And the <laughs> first time he goes, he goes, all right, well, how did you prove it was marijuana? Because they're are they going to lab test all of the stuff that they take on the ticket, and then for your what is it a hundred dollar to, to five hundred dollar ticket? What did you guys agree uh, I on? I believe uh, first time is uh, two fifty to five hundred. How, how do you know it's the first time? Well, that was one of the issues. How are they, they going to keep track of this and everything? So uh, if it's just a ticket, so who's going to be right? Um, and that, and see, I, this is what this is why people get so goofed up about government aldermen. It's because they. It's like they, it's a band aid solution that looks in, that looks okay in a in a four column newspaper article or quickly in a news story on TV for two minutes. Right, the feel good story. The feel good story. Yeah, it's we got it. To be the good thing to do, you're given uh, you know more cops on the street. More cops on the street. Mm-hmm. You guys are not to make an arrest instead of four hours. Is now it's going to be you know thirty to ninety minutes. They'll be back on the street. But my another problem I had with it is I, I really believe we're delivering the wrong message to uh, what I consider the city's most most valued asset, and that's our youth. I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe we need to do a, a better way of getting the word out there to let let people know that we are not decriminalizing pot. I mean, uh, we're just and, – and, and sometimes I feel when you hear a, a kid or a young person, I should say, you know, somebody 18 to 21 – that got busted for pot and got a record because of it and you know they were you know they're a decent person now they're 30 years old and they can't get a job because they have a criminal record for being arrested for pot you know so that's a tough issue well uh, yeah then then you then you gotta we gotta do one thing or the other because right now this just seems like it's going to be 
not effective. They say, oh, think about the money it'll take in. I don't think cops are going to be writing a lot of these, I'll be honest. A, they're not going to write a lot of them. And then there's going to be a way to go fight this in court and go, oh, you couldn't prove it was Pac because you never sent it to the lab. And they have to send it to the lab, and then the money will be wasted sending it to the lab. Yeah. So it seems to me that what we really need to do is we need to do one, one thing or the other. We need to say either Chicago's a no-pot zone or we need to say, all right, fine, we're going to go the California model or the Colorado model and, and uh, we can we can do medical marijuana and some uh, doctor wearing a Hawaiian shirt at a, at a closed-down candy store. It looks like Jeff Bridges. <laughs> right, it looks like Jeff Bridges. And you call him Dr. Jimmy. And that guy is going to, you know, what are you, are you sad? Fine, that's curable. Sad. And and so that is one or the other here, Alderman, right. because we're, this, it seems, and I know you voted, you voted your conscience today, and I appreciate that. It's a good thing, but... It seems like we're just wasting our time. I mean, I don't know. That's 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 tough to say. I mean, this is uh, you know, for truly tying up police officers this long, and we need to get them back out on the streets. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, you know. I mean, like I said, it seems like a good thing, but you know, like I say, you have a lot of valid questions. I mean, I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of pros and cons both way in this issue, in this issue. So yeah. All right. Well, uh, good luck to you on Wednesday in the in the full city council vote next week and they're yeah. uh, i i by the way does the mayor bring his steam roller right to the city council chambers <laughs> or how does he do that or is there just a or the big rubber stamp which one is it uh, don't answer that question no sir comment. the man is very he could be vindictive all right thank you appreciate it all right thank you thank Have you a good day goodbye Bye. a certain moment when ro has got you there on the witness stand you finally just go with a lot of pros and cons both ways there ro <laughs> i got to take another call <laughs> Wanna, don't you guys have some sort of traffic on the fives that you do? <laughs> when is that? Oh, my God. It's three more minutes away. What? <laughs> it is. The problem is, I mean, and, and you know, I think the alderman means well, but you're right. This is the classic. Let's straddle the fence. Let's, you know, all this paperwork, all this lab work, all this extra expense, all this extra trouble. How is it really going to help things? And, you know, all of these arguments are arguments that callers brought to us at 591 God bless them. And underage kids can be arrested. That kind of confuses this whole thing. That was passed. That was put in this thing. What's the problem there, Coach Sandusky? What was your issue? Well, underage kids, uh, in Bill Cameron's piece, underage kids, it's still against the law for them to have it. So it's yeah, if you're under 17, it's the same. It's, it's not going to change. The right. same thing as it it's, always was. Well, that's, so, it's a confusing. So now you've got kids saying, okay, now I've got another birthday to look forward to. 17. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here's your first legal bong. But it's not really legal. It's I mean, it's John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. It's legal to own it, but not legal to sell it. It's legal to have it, but if a cop catches you, it's the whole, you know, trying to figure out the Amsterdam thing. I don't think many tickets will be written. That's the problem. They want the money, but cops... It's We're gonna do, yeah, we just need to have signs. Welcome to Chicago. Put that joint out. <laughs> just put it, it out so the, and the cop will look the other way. 